Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And a very good day, I give to the members on the floor. My name is Shahron Bani Faisal bin Shahron Khairi from University of Tunisia of Malaysia, PPHM, as the presenter today. Uh, with along my other researchers, which are Dr. Abah Hamdan bin Alifay, Dr. Siti Kita Masura bin Tuna Basani, and Professor Madia Dr. Zambi bin Omar, would like to share our finding on the structural analysis of composite aerostructure for UAV application. Before I move into the or deep dive into this research, I would like to show the key points that drive to this research, which are the material advancement, the composite usage in many sectors, and the high demand for UAV in many sectors. For the introduction, this research is focused on the cargo drone or sea drone UTHM, with the weight of the drone itself is 450 kg and the maximum weight of cargo lifted is 200 kg. And due to the maximum weight of cargo lifted, it has been recognized by Malaysia Board of Record in 2021 as the heaviest load lift by a drone. This is the video of the uh, drone itself is being tested to carry load of 200 kg. You can see how big the drone it is to carry this load of 200 kg. With that, this research aims to study the structure of UAV multi-rotor landing gear for joint authorities for rulemaking on unmanned system gyrus implementation. And with the objective of to study the structure of UAV multi-rotor landing gear, to evaluate the UAV landing gear structure using synthetic composite fiber and to investigate the set compression test on the composite material. With that, the scope of study has been set up, which we focus on the landing gear of the mitage and cargo drone, and the analysis that will be conducted will be maximum stress, maximum strain, reflection, consistent compression, and safety factor. And the hardware and software that will be used for this research will be SOLIDWORKS and the Universal Testing Machine, BPM. The problem statement for this research consists of three parts, which is economic impact, seed duration and weight, and better material selection. In terms of economic impact, this is a statement by DKICR in 2020 showing that Malaysia is looking for opportunity to use a lot of drone in a lot of field by 2025. And in terms of sea drone and weight, as we know for the flying machine, weight contributes to a lot of things. By reduce the weight of the structure itself can contribute to more flight time and also can carry higher payload. With that, the current material of uh, the structure that we are using for the sea drone right now is aluminum ILO 6061-36 and its research will try to impose plus fiber reinforcement plus thick to, to, to substitute uh, from the aluminum alloy in reducing the weight of the structure itself. For the novelty of implementation in this research is that we are trying to implement our drone into this joint authorities forum making on unmanned system JAROS regulation. For your information, JAROS is a group of experts from the National Aviation Authorities, which consists of Eurocontrol and the EASA, which aims to deliver a better quality, harmonious proposal for regulation in the safe operation of remotely piloted aircraft system RPAS. And I am firmly sure that our drone is the first drone that trying to implement to this JAROS uh, regulation or implementation in Malaysia. A little bit of summary for CS LUAS is that for load is that the requirement of load and limit load must be specified that have been implemented in this research. And the factor of safety is minimum 1.5 uh, also have been uh, implemented in this research. And the strength and deformation is also must able to support ultimate life by simulation and required tests also have been implemented in this research. And the proof of structure is compliance with the strength and deformation requirement for CS LUAS 305 also have been implemented in this research. So this is the new implementation that we are trying to impose for our drone. The methodology it comes out with the design of the landing gear part, which is this is the landing gear for the UTHMC drone. And the test specimen will consist of aluminum alloy 60616 solid tube and the S glass fiber holy tube, which the dimension should be outer diameter 50 mm, height is 150 mm, and also the thickness of 3 mm. We also conduct a consistent compression test using UTM machine. For the result and discussion, by implementing the glass fiber into the landing gear, causing the weight of the structure would be 104.52 kg compared to the aluminum alloy 6061, which the weight of the structure is 140.54 kg. So it shows that by implementing glass fiber into the landing gear, could reduce the weight, could reduce the weight of the structure of the drone by 10%. This is the simulation that have been conducted through simulation, which we can see the stresses that have been imposed on the structure is in, uh, below the criteria. This is the stress that have been implemented uh, using the solid work, also showing it is acceptable strain, which no uh, critical part indicated in red. And for the displacement, we can see also the indication is in between blue and also green for the landing gear part. We are not focusing on here because this is where the load is being placed. So it shows that it is far from deformation for the landing gear when we try to impose the S glass fiber into the landing gear structure. This is the result for the load versus displacement through the consistent compression test. 
From here, we can see that the peak load of the aluminum alloy is higher than fiberglass tube, which is 86.16 kN to 53.98 kN for aluminum alloy and also for fiberglass tube. With the percentage difference of these two peak load is only 35%. Why this is happening is due to the aluminum alloy is dark time and the composite materials such as glass fiber is brittle and aluminum alloy has compressive strength close to the fiberglass through our finding. And the finding for the research is that aluminum alloy is still better than fiberglass, but the percentage difference, which is very low, only 35% can be considered and fiberglass is cheaper and also of a high strength. This is the comparison of stress versus strength graph uh, between aluminum alloy and FRP. And here we can see that the ultimate strength for the aluminum alloy is 194.55 MPa and the fiberglass is 131.87 MPa while for yang modulus is 13.29 GPa and the fiberglass is 10.33 GPa. For the factor of safety through some calculation, we found out that the aluminum alloy FOS is 37.4 and the FOS for FRP is 25. These are all these are uh, uh, all these requirements have been implemented uh, have fulfilled the requirement by JALOS which is the minimum of 1.5, but yet this tool is still over design. Uh, due to this part, uh, as we know, the aeronautical FOS should be between 1.5 to 2.0, but uh, for this FOS showing that the structure is far from deformation or collapse, and also uh, we can uh, propose other material that suits the strength and the economical aspect. The advantages of this research is that we can uh, contribute to less, less earth resources use and also we can contribute to the engineering aspect in terms of proper financial assessment and also proper working assessment, machine and processes, tools and equipment. But the main important part is that we can contribute to the better UAV design development, which we can uh, use low power to operate the UAV and also the reduce of weight can contribute to more payload and extra flight time. Even though this research has been done recently, but we are able to manage to publish our article of this research into the six Asia Symposium on Material and Processing 2022 and also progress in aerospace and aviation technology for IPHM. This research also has been done with the collaboration of between UTHM and Aerodan, which we collaborate in research and commercialization of drone activities. And we also collaborate with uh, is a collaboration between UTHM and also Allied Aero Resources, which also we collaborate in research project consultation, staff training, staff and student attachment, and also any other areas that have been agreed by both parties. So with that, I am uh, this research proof that uh, a lot of requirements that have been set up by, of, by JAROS have been uh, fulfilled by this drone or by this research. And also we can see that by substituting FRP, uh, as glass fiber into the structural, into the landing gear structure can reduce the weight of the drone. Hence, it can contribute to a lot of things such as uh, increased flight time and also uh, can require low power to operate the UAV. With that, thank you for listening.